Okay, when we left off last time, we had just been given an Argon Mercury, and that is a pretty big hint that what you want to do is begin trading. So get into your Mercury, um, and it's really not got many upgrades on it. It's got the Time Accelerator, which is good. Um, we're going to get some upgrades for it. Um, what one should we get? Haven't actually planned this ahead, but engine tuning is definitely is something we're going to need. Uh, how much? A team of high Ten. I'll save a lot of time. Um, how much is that? That's expensive. Maybe we won't get that. Um, how much is that? Expensive. That's also expensive. Okay, so... We'll just... Yeah, we'll get a couple more engine, engine tunings. Tuning installed. And that'll do for the time being. We don't really need shields. Um, boost extension not still another boost extension. Okay, so that makes our top speed 97, which is still terrible, but it's better than 44. Okay, and there's a sort of power so plant power there. Plant. Alpha. Which is right over there. So Boost extension. Not installed. I have been playing um, Beyond the Frontier a lot, so I keep trying to tab everywhere rather than use the SATA drive. Which is a bit silly. But we are going to fly on over here and try and pick up some energy cells. I'm not going to do any missions in this episode, by the way. I'm just going to do some trading. So if you are in the know on trading, maybe skip ahead to the next video. Um, however, if you are not in the know, I would strongly recommend you take this opportunity to sort out your Mercury and get some uh, get some money rolling in because it really is helpful. Okay, so. C is not calm. What is calm? Ah, distance is too large, that's why. It's further in this one. It's all very confusing. Okay, I think we have to go up the top. Is that right? You are talking to there the are. automated interaction system. Make your request. Positive. Request permission to land. As soon as you get green position lights. Beautiful. Now, where are the so green position lights? Down the bottom. Let's see our way a bit closer. Just saw another ship flying there. I'm hoping this is the right bit to dock at. Oh crap, I'm miles off. Up a bit. And then bit of a funny angle, but if we take it slow, we can get in fine. Mercury is a bit bigger than Discover, so you have to be careful of that, but it's still not Successfully docked. enormous. It's still possible to manoeuvre it, as you can see. It's very wide, but not very... Uh, All ex -military personnel not very tall. <laughs> yeah, don't need to crash into the wall. Bad plan. I'm using F2 a lot, because... It makes it a bit easier to see which bays are free. Again, part of playing beyond the frontier over the past week. Okay, how much? 14, that is an acceptable price. We will stock up on them. How many can we get? Nice. We can fill up on those. That's always good times. Hey, I'm going to sell them. Um... It's a quantum, quantum tube, tube fab. fab. 
Alpha. That's a good place to turn. Basically, any kind of factory will want energy cells, which is why they're a good thing to trade and what I'd recommend to begin with. Buy energy cells for anything under 15 credits and you will probably be able to make a profit. So I just bought them for 14, which is an okay price. Yeah, let's come with you these guys. To the positive, please, dog. As soon as you get green position lights. I've had my ship destroyed by um, the autopilot on more than one occasion. So uh, that's why I like to manually dock at everything. And also, again, there is no autopilot in Beyond the Frontier. So I have... Or well, there might be later on, actually. I've never completed Beyond the Frontier. Or I've never got very far in it at all because my ship always explodes on some invisible object. But if you use autopilot too much, you will have your share of inexplicable... Oh my god, I'm miles off again. Let's fly out a bit. Stop the engines. Go back to F1. Follow the arrows. Which are saying right there. There we are. Obviously, be careful not to destroy your ship. That would be bad times. Now, you're not guaranteed to get a profit at every shop you go to. What you can do is you can look at information on the station beforehand, and if they're low in stock, they're probably going to pay more for them. But if you get less than 50, most places will probably give you a profit of some kind. I don't think you'll get them paying less than 17 for less than 17 credits for an energy sale in a factory, providing you have gone for a factory. One thing with this ship is the lack of visibility. Which will cause you some problems. So fly. Fly carefully to begin with, as I am doing. Particularly with the... if You might have bought some rudder optimization when upgrading, which is a fine decision. Uh, also, utilize F2 to see where the edge of your ship is. I think we're in. Connection to local trading network established. Yeah, let's trade. How much are they offering? They're offering 90, and they're quite low in stocks. So that's energy a good price. Are the unified energy storage used throughout the whole known so, there we are. Sold. Made a nice bit of money there. Promoted. And we've been promoted. What to? A trader. Great. Okay. So. One thing. I forgot to say. I can always go for the boost extension. Careful not to crash into that other Mercury. Oh, crap. Don't go that way. Alright. We'll stop here. Actually, that might not be the best place to stop. Oh, yeah. We have a rear turret, which I didn't mean to go into. Uh, no. God's sake. Go forward a bit more. Say to it. And now we'll turn round. You spin me right round, baby, right round. There we go. Bit of filler music. Hit I. Go to station details. They will buy ore and silicon wafers. Which is a bit bigger. And possibly a bigger margin for profit. In Beyond the Frontier, as I seem to be talking about a lot, we're there. Down south gate is Argon Prime, I think. So, north gate we go through? I think it's north gate. To get to all about. No boost extension. There we go. Oh, no, that's Argon Prime. That's the wrong way. South gate. Oh, I've completely lost my train of thought now. Oh, yeah. In Beyond the Frontier, it was better to cut. You could buy energy cells for about five credits and sell them for 20 plus, so that you would make an absolutely enormous profit. Whereas in this one, you will make a 25% profit tops, probably. Uh, so, yeah, a 400% profit was obviously a lot better. Um, so, it kind of 
shifts the focus a little bit because initially in Beyond the Frontier you have to trade with um, your little experimental shuttle, which is um, which is fine, but uh, you can't carry big items. There are different classes of ship, and this one is a Mercury, which is a transporter ship. It is not as big as like a Mammoth, which is essentially the biggest transporter for the Argon race. There's obviously different ones for different um, for different races. Like I think the um, Boron equivalent of a Mercury is a Dolphin. But they have tran like freight transporters, which is what this is, and these can carry pretty much any cargo. So they'll carry large, large cargo. I'm going at this angle because we're very kind of like a slice of bread. We're very wide, but not very tall. So, I'm flying in at this angle just to minimise the chance of hitting something. Save regularly in this ship, because flying around in that Discoverer for so long does kind of make you lose a sense of size, and also the fact that you really can't see much out of the, uh, out of the windscreen. Into the thing, the jig. There we are escape. I really should turn that off now. Entering system or belt. Press tab again to do the boost. Um, so what have we got here? We've got the crystal fab at the soda power plant. There's potential money made there. There's Argon Sector Patrol. That's not too useful to us. Argon Centaur. Ah, there's one over there. My eyes are a bit funny, but... Free Argon Trading Station. Free. Doesn't look like a training station to me. Or am I blind? I could be blind. And we must be there we go. We've got we've got our jump. There are lots of solar power plants in this sector. There's a lot of ores, but not a lot of mining going on. Solar power plant. Alpha. Well we can make some money there. Yeah, what I was saying about trading in X2 is there's more profit generally to be made in selling, buying and selling ores and stuff. They've made it a bit more focused on Asteroid. larger resources, which is okay, I guess. Argon, it means that you need a bit more money to begin Argon trading. Mercury. Yes, we know Argon Mercury. Well done. What about... I don't think is the sector I thought it was. Which may be problematic. I may have to go around and look for the sector. I was thinking of. Seeing as it's called Orbelt, you can understand my confusion. Thinking it was a sector full of mine mines and the like. Uh, we've really not explored very much. Okay, so I'm going to go have a look for the sector I was actually looking for, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a silicon mine. Docking denied. Unfortunately, it's in a paranid sector, and they are not too thrilled about the about the idea of me docking, because I don't think they're too happy for some reason. Hmm, hang on. What's it under? Is it under personal information? Uh, there we are. I'm apparently a split enemy. Paranid enemy of Priest Duke. Tladi profit opportunity though. May have better luck in Tladi sectors. Though that's gonna take some time to get out to. Silicon mine, beta. Dead space. No. So yeah, they're not too happy about me docking, which is unfortunate. So, with that, I'm going to... Gate, cloud bay, southwest. I'm going to fly out a little bit and see if I can find some more accommodating trade locations. 
So, flew a flipping long way out. It took me quite some time to get here, but I'm in Geo's Buxoid, um, which is the first, I think the closest Ladi sector to where we were. I flew this way, so we were here. So I've, yeah, a Mercury that's that slow. Well, all Mercuries are slow, but one that's not even fully upgraded engine tuning. It's taken me some time to get it out here. But here we can get some silicon wafer and bloody hell, they've actually massively increased in price. Silicon is the main mineral resource that all They were three hundred when I got my discoverer here. Oh dear. Well, this could be problematic. Uh, are there any more in this sector that I can go to? No. There is only one silicon mine, I think. And there's not one there. Oh dear. There is a solar power plant in this sector, so I'm going to stock up on these relatively cheap energy cells at 14 credits. Energy cells bought. Nice selection there. And then go back to that silica mine. And then hopefully, by doing so, they can actually produce some silicon. And we can then make activity. some money. I will make some money off these energy cells. They're relatively cheap. They vote, but when we left, they only had 22 energy cells. So there's a good opportunity for profit here. Anyway, let me used this opportunity to tell you where I was intending to trade those silicon wafers. There is a crystal fab here that was offering 500 credits for them. I could, at the time I was looking, buy them out of this silicon mine for 360 credits. So, it's a pretty big profit there. A lot bigger than there is on the energy sales. Um, yeah, it's how big's the profit? Successfully uh, On it's... behalf of Chairman CEO, the Taladi Company wishes great Excuse profit me. to you and welcomes you on board. It's about 20% usually on the trade of 25% on the energy sales on there. It's uh, closer to uh, kind of more 30 35%. So there is definitely a bigger profit in the silicon. In the. Uh, yeah, are in the silicon selling to that crystal fab if possible. There's also the ore mine and there's a few you can sell it to the Taladiadium foundries, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Um so there's some money to be made there but you really don't get very profit that way. Yeah, they're offering twenty two credits per energy cell. So that's pretty good. Oh made seven thousand credits off of that. It's pretty damn good. Still a bit expensive here, but I'm just going to trade some energy cells here for a bit, I think, until the price comes down. They are reasonably priced. And why can't I... Did I already buy them? I already... I think I already bought them. I think that's what... That, or am I... Ah, no. I bought energy cells, that's right. <laughs> Another load of energy cells to sell, and then... There we are. Ton of silicon wafers. Which we bought for about 300, and then... Ah, oh god, I've been doing this for four hours now. <laughs> I started recording at nine. Or, well, sometime between 9 and 10. And it is now 10 past 2. So, I have been really doing this for quite a while. Quite a lot long. I thought it was like 11. Warning, when you start trading, you will get sucked in. But on the plus side, I have quite a bit of money to play around with now. What you may notice about my ship is the green bar on the dash has 
gone down a bit, which is my ship's hull, which I didn't notice before, but I autopiloted the ship over here, and it's a good argument for why I don't use autopilot, because it has somehow taken damage on the way here. Yeah, 526, that's a nice big profit there. There we are. It's quite a bit of money I have. So hopefully you can kind of see how to trade now. I really probably should stop, but thank you for watching, and next time we'll be back doing missions. Bye-bye.